Dear the pen, I am sorry to hear that you feel as if I abandoned you. It was never my intent to leave you behind. In fact, it breaks my heart. Indeed, I noticed you were not at the showdown with those who I accused to be your captors. But you must also remember, when a person receives a note on their car windshield made up of cut and paste letters from magazines, one must readily assume that those who have left the note have nothing but vile intentions. I hesitate to say this, but perhaps you, dear Pen, are suffering from Stockholm Syndrome? I desperately hope not. Although, I hear Stockholm isn't bad this time of year. Sweden is a very nice place. I hope you're enjoying it somewhat, at least. The Pen, I miss you. Listen, I miss you. I need you. Oh baby, oh baby. Look at me. I'm consigned to write out my thoughts not on my favorite hey autocorrect. That word is spelled correctly. Learn Canadian. Anyway, as I was saying, look at me. I can't even utilize pen and paper, which you might assume is rather obvious considering how my beloved the pen is missing from my woeful life. Now I'm resigned to type this message out to you. I hope you don't mind the archaic nature of this missive. Likewise, I hope and pray that this missive finds you in good health. I cry myself to sleep every night thinking of you. I need you. The pen, I miss you dearly. I'm no stranger to love, and neither are you. You know the rules, and so do I. Look, I just want to tell you my thoughts, my feelings. I just hope you understand. I'm never going to give you up. I'm never going to let you down. I'm never going to run around and desert you. I'm never going to make you cry that sad black ink of yours. I'm never going to say goodbye, and I'm never going to tell you a lie and hurt you. No, I will never do those things. I hope you understand. The pen, you know our love was meant to be, is the kind of love that lasts forever. I have not replaced you, the pen. Not in my book bag, not in my pocket, not in my heart. You will always be my The Pen. Don't tell me you're too blind to see that I'm never going to give you up, never going to let you down, never going to hurt you or desert you. Although we could desert together, I could get into that. Yes, in fact, please come home and we can desert together. Pie, cake, ice cream? I know, the cake is not a lie. There is cake. Come get the cake. Do you like chocolate cake? I like chocolate cake. Let's have cake. Please don't make me beg any longer. I didn't realize you were happy with your new friends. If you want to stay with them, I understand. Sweden is nice this time of year, but I have cake. I yet remain patient and forgiving and loving. It is my hope that you will return within the week. I know it is a long walk, hike, roll. However, if only I knew where you were, I could give you a lift. I will be here, always, waiting. Except for right now, as I am at work. But that is because I must provide for you, my dear the pen. Even if you have left me, I remain vigilant in my hopes that you will return. That is all. I leave the decision up to you. I hope you will forgive my ignorance in the matter. I did not know they were your buddies and whatnot. I did not know you thought I abandoned you. I did not know you don't think I care any longer. Trust me, the pen. I care. As Luke Skywalker said to an irritated layout, I care. I'm no scruffy looking nerf herder. I'm the real deal. Deal, the pen, or no deal. I miss you. I will wait. I will wait for you. Sincerely and faithfully yours, Benjamin Coker.